Hello, my name is Bojan, here at Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale, right across from the Fashion Square to talk to you about this beautiful, yes, 2019 Mercedes-Benz G550. All new, all redone, available to you right now. Yes, we do have this polar white macchiato beige slash black leather interior together with the natural grain walnut wood trim vehicle available to you right now. So what's new, what's different, what's special? Well, it will take me a very, very long video if I'm going to talk about what everything that's new about this vehicle. I'll try to summarize it. It's all new. The most important information about this vehicle, what's new, what's different, and why should you be interested? Well, it's going to be uh, off-road capable a lot more than it was before. Because I'm sure that's what you're buying it for, off-road capabilities. I know. The other thing that's different on that, this vehicle, we actually did improve also the on-road capabilities of this vehicle. So now we do have the independent suspension before we had the front axles. Solid. Now we have the power steering before we had the recirculating bolt. So those are the great improvements that you're going to feel immediately upon test driving this vehicle. So the smoothness of this vehicle is going to be uncomparable for the vehicle that we had before. So that is one of the single most great improvement on the vehicle. The second thing that's also important to the previous G-Wagon owners. The vehicle is wider for about four inches. So you're gonna notice definitely more space. The vehicle is longer and the vehicle is a little bit taller. So we kind of uh, put the dimensions inside and outside. The vehicle is powered with a V8 four liter uh, that we have in many of our other V8s. It's producing in this case, 416 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque. So by no means this vehicle is underpowered. It will give you Plenty of power. Of course, the vehicle is all-time, all-wheel drive, but it also gives you opportunity, as I assume you already know, to lock in the both differentials, front and back, and to lock them also the front one side to side, rear one side to side. So those are the extremely important parts about this vehicle. So again, back to the off-road. So this vehicle is also tested on the mountain Schakel in Austria. The extremely rugged terrain that the vehicle passed, everything without any of it or help. So as far as the dimensions and the size of the car, as I mentioned you, that's increased. When you look at the car from the outside, what we did the most, because still uh, many of the uh, items that were trying to keep the same DNA with the uh, ones that we had before, you will notice still the lights are on the top, the round headlights on the front, still the grill guard that we have here, standard for the US. We're going to have also the uh, standard features as far as on the safety, active blind spot assist, active lane keeping assist, Distronic Plus, and all those features. You'll notice on the body styling, it's rounded a little bit more than the body style before. So silhouette of the car, many of the, the main lines of the vehicle are staying the same, but those things are really really what's different on the car. Also on this one it has the AMG line exterior. So for the front appearance you'll notice that. Also on this one you're going to notice that it has a 20 inch AMG wheels. They're a multi-spoke. That's just from the exterior. Now please follow me on the interior. I'll talk to you more about the luxurious part of this vehicle and its features and capabilities. So let's get immediately to it. As I mentioned you, polar white exterior, macchiato beige slash black interior. Uh, also finished with the uh, uh, natural grain walnut uh, wood far as on the interior. So those are the main themes of the car. Some of the things that are going to be immediately noticeable, well, everything is different on the interior. So the exterior we kept uh, similar to the ones before, but the interior we changed everything. Some of the main features, what you have, the, of course, the steering wheel, center console, locking differentials right here, the handlebar that's right here, that's stable as the ones before. Significant difference to the previous owners. Now we have actually moonroof that's actually glass. It's not solid like it is before. So it sets some of the things uh, that's different. Before we used to have the Harman Kardon sound system. Now it's Burmester. Of course, heated seats, ventilated seats for the driver and for the passenger. And on the back, you do have the heated seats that come as a standard equipment. Adjustments of the seat. Now you have the top part of the seating portion of that. You can extend and you can shorten it depending on your preference. Two 12.3 inch screen that you have on a vehicle that you control everything, all the setup, all the um, different settings that you can use in the vehicle together with 64 colors, ambient lighting that you can change the different colors, change them in the tones depending on the temperature. 
Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so much of the uh, different controls that you're going to have that here, but many of the features can be controlled from the steering wheel. So on the right hand of the steering wheel, you control all the features that are in your central display. And right in front of you on the central command, you can control everything that's on the left part. They all have the haptic feedback. So it's just basically uh, movement of your finger controls everything that's in your instrument cluster. And uh, uh, you do have the settings also for the uh, cruise control, active cruise control or Distronic Plus, as well as uh, uh, lane tracking and uh, home uh, button where you're going to change the different settings that is right in front of you. Also, we don't have any more key and that's taking, uh, putting it in like in old school cars. Now it's just a button that you can use uh, for the vehicle to, um, to start the vehicle, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Again, that all comes now, uh, the standard on the car. We do have a little bit more options than we used to have before on the G-Wagon. So AMG line exterior, now it's becoming optional. We have several different wheels that are coming on the car and the several different finishes far as on the interior, uh, far as in design uh, just. And you, of course you can have the uh, Napa leather interior as well. So the center console, now we do have, previous owner is gonna be glad about this. We do actually have cup holders. Yeah, they're real and you can put the real drinks on it. It's not anymore, that's a little, Thing that's on the side so that's a nice improvement of that uh, huge center console we didn't have that before and for the passengers in the back there is a more room now between the uh, first two lines of seating for the driver or passenger and the passengers on the back so you have it a little bit more dimension so uh, taller persons can definitely fit a little bit better than they used to before as far as in the trunk space that's about similar that it was before Okay, so on the back seat of the 2019 G550, well, some of the things that we didn't have before, more space in the back, right? We do have the center console. Now we do have the cup holders for the passengers in the back. Now we do have the vents for the passengers in the back that can be regulated as well as the temperature as the speed of the fan from the back. Nice improvement, right? Lower portion, we do have, of course, yeah, we still have the ashtray and you can still have the cigarette lighter, but you also have the USB outlet so you can charge those uh, phones, tablets, whatever might you have, you have the USB you can charge here. Of course, like we did before, you do have the heated seats for the passengers on the back and the vents here on the side that gives also the more air. So you have one here, one here. In uh, hot Arizona days or if you're going to uh, have this vehicle in somewhere more north where the vehicle is going to be able to showcase all its off-road capabilities. Deep snow, because the vehicle has, of course, if I didn't mention you, it does have the better approach and departure angle, water fording, and all the off-road capabilities that are the main reason for this vehicle, right? So again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bojan Savic, Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale, 480-748-4856. Thanks.